The Bucks County District Attorney's Office called for a rare midnight press conference July 13 to announce that the remains of one of the four missing men they had been searching for was found on the property of Antonio and Sandra DiNardo. Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintraub announced at the press conference that the remains of 18-year-old Dean Finocchiaro were found on their 90-acre farm along with others, though they weren't immediately identified by authorities. Weintraub said that the human remains were discovered on the property inside a grave that had a depth of around 12 feet. Watch the press conference in the video. Okay. All right.
Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You hear it? Oh, it's twenty second delay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it coming? Tony? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's a link sinking? Deep sink? Good evening, I'm Matt Weintraub, Bucks County District Attorney. I'm here to make a, an announcement about a significant development in the investigation that you've all been following so patiently, and so diligently. We have found human remains in an approximately 12 and a half foot deep common grave that we have painstakingly dug 
with a lot of care so as not to damage any potential evidence. And I'm very, very sad to say that we can now identify Dean Finocciaro, 19 years old of Middletown, as one of the people that was found buried in that grave. He's been missing since Friday. We notified his family that we have recovered his body. There are additional human remains inside that grave. So this painstaking process will go on. We're not done yet. This is a homicide, make no mistake about it. We just don't know how many homicides. We are yet to know the answer to that question. And I want to let you know that we reiterated over and over again, and it goes to say one more time to the families that we're strong, that we're going to remain strong, and we're going to see this investigation to the end, and we're going to bring each and every one of these lost boys home to their families one way or another. And we will not rest until we do that. I will take a few questions, and then I'll see you tomorrow at 11. I can't comment on uh, the type of homicide that it is at this point, but I am comfortable classifying it as homicide. Dan? Do you have enough to file homicide charges now, at least for the one victim? That is something that we're going to look at uh, very, very closely. I feel that we bought ourselves a little bit of time in charging uh, Mr. DiNardo with the stolen car case today and getting that $5 million bail. Uh, it is my hope that he does not post that, but that's his prerogative, of course, if he can post it. But we're going to start looking seriously at the homicide charges, and in fact, we already have uh, pursued that option. Do you suspect there's additional victims aside from the four reported boys? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I misunderstood you. Not at this time. Okay. What kind of condition were the remains in? I don't want to comment on that, but... You can draw some logical conclusions. They were found inside a 12 and a half foot deep hole that we had to excavate. That's a pretty big hole. Do you think there's something one person did, or do you think there might be other people involved in I really can't say. We're, we're still examining the evidence. The investigation, as you all know, has taken two tracks. It's been about recovery on one side and about ascertaining what actually occurred on the other side. And we're still uh, avidly pursuing both of those uh, avenues at you this time. You found evidence in two places. Can you now tell us a little bit more about that evidence? No, because that part of the investigation is uh, very much alive. As I said before, all the leads that we've been pursuing are hot. They remain so, and this is uh, verified proof of that. I'll take one more question. What led you to that grave? Was it dug up, or did the dogs lead you there? We had uh, cadaver dogs. And I, I don't understand the science behind it, but those dogs could smell these poor boys 12 and a half feet below the ground. All right, thank you all very much. I'll Sources see you told Fox 29 that the night. reason the parents of 20-year-old Cosmo are being questioned in the case is because investigators wanted to ask them about their son's actions one week prior, when the four men were reported missing, when asked by Fox 29 reporters if Antonio should be considered a person of interest? In the case, Weintraub said, no, as investigators attempted to put together timeline of Cosmo's whereabouts since July 5th, a source told the news outlet that they seized the cell phones of Antonio, as well as Sandra there are few places of interest in the case, one of them is the Donardo's property in Solbury Township, located off of a secluded country road about 30 miles north of Philadelphia, the property is an anti-acre farm and a massive search for any leads in the case has been ongoing. Authorities have brought in construction equipment and cadaver dogs to search the large property, along with agents from the FBI's evidence response team. So far, the search came up empty as far as finding human remains after examining every part of the property. Police refused to comment on if there was any other physical evidence discovered.